One centimeter thin, weighing just one kg with an all metal chassis and a 180 degree lay flat hinge. This is the ASUS ZenBook S13 OLED. And I partnered with ASUS to bring you one of the first videos with this in the world. So a thumbs up for your boy would be appreciated. Let's get it unboxed and see what it has to offer. So the packaging is 100% FSC mix certified, meaning it's sustainable. And that's the theme that you'll see across the ZenBook S13 OLED. There are two boxes within the main package. One has the ZenBook S13 OLED and some paperwork and the other has the included 65 watt fast charge adapter. And here it is, my first impressions, it's super light and compact. Being just one kg means you can just throw it into your bag and it's not gonna weigh you down. And at just one centimeter thin, it makes it around 30% slimmer than the previous generation. Now it has a 180 degree hinge, so you can lay it out flat, but when you have it open, then it does elevate the keyboard for a more comfortable typing experience as well. And we mentioned sustainability earlier. Well, the ZenBook S13 OLED's energy efficiency exceeds the Energy Star certification by 43%, and it's designed for carbon neutrality with recycled metals and plastics. It has a new eco-friendly plasma ceramic aluminium for the basalt gray and this has quite a unique feel to it and we have halogen free electronics which makes this the most eco-friendly zenbook model ever produced by asus let's now take a look at the display this is a beautiful 13 0.3 inch 2.8K ASUS Lumina OLED display with nano edge technology. It's sharp, vibrant, and smooth with a 550 nit peak brightness and has a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio with a 0.2 millisecond response time. It also has Dolby Vision and accurate colors with 100% DCI-P3 color gamut. It's Pantone validated and has Visa Display HDR 500 True Black. The ZenBook S13 OLED also has a Tuv Rhineland IK certification and emits 70% less blue light compared to standard LCDs and that makes it a lot easier on the eyes as well. Now the new ZenBook series also supports a customizable color gamut function allowing you to switch the display's color gamut quickly and easily and ASUS are now offering a free OLED screen exchange program if you find burn-in while under warranty. That's how confident they are. So what's powering the ZenBook S13 OLED? Well, you can get it with up to a 13th gen Intel Core i7 1355U processor, up to 32 gigabytes of onboard LPDDR5 5200 megabytes memory, and up to one terabyte PCIe 4.0 X4 NVMe M.2 SSD storage. Now ASUS have also maximized the use of the interior space with a thinner lid, a slimmer battery, and by shrinking the PCB by 15%. And thanks to all of this, ASUS have managed to pack in an additional ultra thin fan that increases airflow for better thermal management. And with the increased space and thermal capacity, the overall performance is increased by 20% and drives the thermal design performance from the default 15 watts to 20 watts. Now, taking a look at the ports, on the left-hand side, we have a full-size HDMI 2.1 port. It's actually really impressive how this just fits in this thin design. We then have two Thunderbolt 4 ports. And on the right-hand side, we have a full-size USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, as well as an audio combo jack. Now, speaking of audio, this is Harman Kardon certified, has Dolby Atmos support and a smart amplifier with ASUS Audio Booster technology, which can give you around five times louder sound. For the keyboard, it's full size, backlit, has 18.7 millimeter pitch, 0.1 millimeter dish, and 1.1 millimeter key travel, which is really impressive considering how thin this is. And then we have the ASUS ErgoSense touchpad, which is large with a 9.5% increase in touch compared to the previous model. It has a smooth surface and anti-fingerprint coating. Feels really nice. And there's also multi-gesture support. So with three fingers, you can swipe up to open all windows. You can swipe down to show the desktop. You can swipe left and right to switch between windows. And with four fingers, you can switch between desktops. Now at the top here, we do have a full HD 3D NR IR camera, which can give you fast login with Windows Hello. But the laptop also has a sensor that can detect ambient light levels, allowing the display to adjust the brightness and color temperature of the screen automatically and it gives you the best looking image. 
For video conferencing, the ZenBook S13 OLED also includes a new webcam effect feature, which is in the My Asus software UI. And you can choose between lighting optimization, background blurring, eye tracking, motion tracking effects, and more. Right now for the battery, this has a 63 watt hour battery, which can give you up to 14 hours of battery life. Of course, it's going to depend on what you're doing. If you're doing more heavy tasks, it's not going to last you as long as that. But if you're just watching video and some light tasks, you can get some good usage out of this. And you, of course, do get that 65 watt fast charger included. And the ZenBook S13 OLED also has USB-C Easy Charge. So you can juice this up on the go with airline chargers, portable chargers, and power banks as well. Now, obviously, charging speed is going to vary depending on the speed of your charger. It's not going to charge as fast if you're using just your smartphone charger. But the fact that you can just plug this into a power bank is so useful. You can keep this going on for ages. For connectivity, the ZenBook S13 OLED does have the exclusive ASUS Wi-Fi Master Premium. This is a built-in dual-band Wi-Fi 6E wireless network for faster wireless performance. It also has an ASUS exclusive Wi-Fi Smart Connect feature, which gives you greater distance, stability, and seamless wireless network experiences. Finally, for the price. So this is going to be starting at around £1,500 here in the UK. Prices will vary by region. If you want to find out more about the ASUS ZenBook S13 OLED, then do check out the link in the description below. What do you guys think of the S13 OLED? Drop me a comment and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do smash that like button for me. If you want to see some previous related videos, those will be linked here and here. And if you haven't already and you'll see more content like this, then do consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.